Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about the word problems involving permutation. So dito, i-apply natin lahat ng mga natutunan natin on the previous video lesson. So di kung matatandaan nyo, diniscuss natin yung uh, ano doon, the permutation of n objects taken r at a time, the this Distinguishable permutation and the circular permutation. So, apply natin yun. Yun nga lang dito sa uh, le video lesson na to, merong mga problem na merong ng restriction. So, yun ang dapat nating uh, uh, tingnan. No? Dapat yung uh, makita kung paano nyo i-apply yung formula doon sa tatlong na Uh, na discuss no yung kagaya ng circular and then distinguishable permutation so first okay first problem 10 hospitals are in need of nurses if there are four qualified applicants how many ways can they be assigned okay this example is in a permutation where uh, permutation of n objects taken are at a time so ibig sabihin Kukunin natin yung value ng n natin na ang ibig sabihin ng n natin that is the total number of objects. And then yung r naman natin that is the number of objects selected. So ano yung n natin dito sa first problem? That is 10. Okay, so yung n natin is 10. And then yung r natin or yung number of objects selected that is 4. Okay, so ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin yung formula na to, n factorial over n minus r factorial. So, ang gagawin lang natin, is substitute lang natin yung value ng n, yung at saka value ng r. So, that is 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial. So, subtract natin yung sa denominator natin and that is 6 factorial. So, expand natin yung 10 factorial. So, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. So, titigil na tayo dito kasi makakancel natin na sa baba. Okay? Cancel natin yung 6 factorial. So, therefore, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is equal to 5,040 ways. Another problem. Find the possible number of permutation in the 9-digit palindromic 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, yung problem na to is an example of distinguishable permutation kung saan uh, may kukunin tayong identical objects. No? Bibilangin natin. Okay? So, una, kunin muna natin yung value ng n. So, ilan ba yan lahat? 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Saka isa-isahin natin. So, ilan lahat yung 1, ilan yung 2, ilan yung 3, ilan yung 4. Okay? Since ito nga problem number 2 natin ay halimbawa ng distinguishable permutation. So, yung 1 natin ay merong dalawa. At yung dalaw ang 2 natin meron ding dalawa. Okay, yung 3 digit natin merong dalawa din. Yung 4, meron ding dalawa. At yung 5 natin, isa. So, using the formula for distinguishable permutation, which is n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial to uh, the last uh, selected or the n, -k sub, n sub k factorial. Okay, so substitute lang natin. So, yung n natin, that is 9. 9 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial. So, ang gagawin natin, class, okay, para mas madali, i-compute natin yung 9 factorial. So, 9 factorial, that is the product from 9 to 1. Now, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1 is equal to 362,880. And then, yung 2 factorial, that is 2. Okay, kung two, uh, yung 2 factorial natin ay equal sa 2, so ito ay 2 din. So, 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 
8 times 2, 16, times 1, 16. So, 362,880 divide 16, the answer is 22,680 ways. Okay, another example. In how many ways? Okay, for the third problems, in how many ways can three women and four men sit in a round tab, uh, table if the women always sit together? So, meron tayong restriction sa problem number three. Okay, yung uh, always sit together. So, para ma-visualize natin, sige. So, for example, ito yung tatlong babae, tapos ito yung apat na uh, lalaki. Para ma-visualize nyo lang na merong seven, no? Okay. Ang sabi dito, uh, yung mga babae daw ay upo together. So, ibig sabihin magkasama sila. Okay? So, bibilangin natin yung total number of objects ngayon. So, binyaran tayong 1. So, isa na lang ang bilang ngayon nito. Okay? 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung n natin dito ay 5. Itong problem na to ay halimbawa ng circular permutation. So, kung ang n natin is 5, uh, so, ibig sabihin yung n natin dito is 5. Pero, class, Itong tatlong babae na to ay i-consider pa rin natin yung arrangement nila. So ang gagawin natin yung uh, arrangement nitong tatlong babae, i-multiply natin dito. Okay? So first is the 5 factorial. So since limat yung total number of as uh, objects natin, so that is 5 factorial. So using the circular permutation formula, that ano uh, 5 factorial rather is 120 okay so since uh all right since uh this problem uh this is an application of circular uh it's an example of circular permutation so therefore uh, gagamitin natin yung formula no na n minus 1 factorial. So, since 5, ito yung n natin, babawasan natin ng isa, that is equal to 4 factorial. And 4 factorial is equal to 24. And then, the arrangement of 3 uh, women is equal to 3 factorial. So, that is 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. So, using the fundamental principle of counting, the permutation is 4 factorial times 3 factorial or 24 times 6, the answer is 144 ways. Another example, how many ways can the uh, letters in the word online be arranged if, okay, ito yung mga uh, given restriction. There are no restrictions. So, kapag walang restriction, so isa-isahin lang natin yung ilan to, anim na letters sa word na online. So, meron tayong O, N, L, I, N, saka E. Okay. So, ito ay halimbawa ng dis distinguishable permutation. No? So, first, kunin natin kung ilan yan. So, that is 6. So, ang value ng N natin is 6. And then, isa-isahin natin yung mga identical letters. So, yung O natin merong isa. Yung N meron ding isa. Ah, dalawa rather. Yung L may isa, yung I isa din, saka yung E isa din. So, using the formula of distinguishable permutation class, masasagot natin tong letter A. Okay, so that is 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial and times 1 factorial. So, the answer is 6 factorial is equal to 720 and 2 factorial is equal to 2 kasi ito 1 naman na ang, ang value ng 1 factorial. Okay? So, 720 divide 2, the answer is 360 ways kapag walang restriction. Paano naman kapag the letter E and O are together? So, magkasama si E sa kasi O. Okay, so ipapakita natin. So, si O sa kasi E daw ay magkasama. So, consider as 1 na lang sila. So, 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5. So, yung n natin ngayon ay 5 na lang. And then, that is 5 factorial. That is equivalent to 120. And then, uh, syempre, i-co-consider din natin ngayon, i-co-consider din natin ngayon yung ano class? I-co-consider din natin uh, yung arrangement ng dalawang letter natin, which is yung O natin saka E. So, and that is 2 factorial. So, that is equal to 2. Ngayon class, so gamit ito, okay, syempre, meron pa rin yan, isa-isa, no? Okay, so may, yung 2 factorial times 1 factorial, which is, ang sagot natin dyan is 2. Okay, simplify muna natin ito. So, ang sagot natin dito, saka natin i-multiply doon sa 2 factorial. Okay? So, 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial is equal to 100 divide 2. And the answer is 60. So, yung sagot natin dito, class, i-multiply natin doon sa, are, uh, sa dalawang Dito, sa arrangement natin, no? yung arrangement ni O, saka E, and that is 2 factorial. So, 60 times 2, the answer is 120 ways. Okay, so, I think medyo nagigets nyo na kasi doon sa previous video lesson natin about circular permutation, meron na rin tayo mga problems doon, no? Okay, so, ibig sabihin, that is 120 ways. Okay, another. Paano naman kapag yung consonants ay magkasama? Okay, pakita natin. So, ano ba yung mga consonants natin dito? Of course, that is L, N, N. Okay, so, ibig sabihin yung tatlo na yan, isa na lang ang bilang. So, yung N natin dito ay 4 uh, four na lang dapat yung N. So, hindi ko napalitan. So, palitan ko. Okay, so yung N natin dito ay 4 na lang. Okay. So, and then, of course, yun pa rin yung nasa denominator natin. Denominator natin. So, 4 factorial, that is 24. And then, i-co-consider natin, of course, yung arrangement ng tatlo. And that is 3 factorial. And 3 factorial is equal to 6. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, no? Dun sa letter O, saka sa E. So, that is... Unahin muna natin to 4 factorial divide. So, 4, 4 factorial is 24. Divide it by 2. The answer is 12. Saka natin i-multiply si 12 sa value ni 3 factorial. And that is 12 times 6. The answer is 72 ways. Okay. So, how about if the vowels, no? Vowels to class. So, paano naman kapag all vowels are together? Okay, so kagaya lang din ito ng letter C. Kasi tatlo rin yung vowels natin dito. So, meron din tayong apat. Okay? And that 4 factorial is 24. Bakit hindi na bago dito? Okay, so same lang din ito nito ng letter C. So, therefore, uh, yung number of ways na ang vowels ay magkasama ay 72 ways then Okay? Next. 8 people are seated at a di uh, dinner table at a political function. How many ways can they sit if? Okay, so we consider a dinner table na paikot. Okay? Paikot ito. Okay? So, papasok kayo yung circular permutation natin dito. So, if there are no restrictions. So, kapag walang restriction, of course, yung n natin is equal to 8. And that is, using the formula of circular permutation, n minus 1 factorial is equal to 7 factorial and equal to 5,040 ways. Pero kapag yung president and secretary are to be always seated together, so ibig sabihin, let's say, ito ay name ng mga tao, okay? Si, itong person, uh, itong si P sa kasi S, Ito si President sa si Secretary. So, ito yung kasama nilang, uh, ilan ba to? 8, diba? 2, 4, o oh, bak, ah, kulang ng isa. So, dagdagan natin. Okay, dagdagan natin ng isa. So, that is G. Okay, since may 8 daw, tapos si President, so ito, 
Ito, si President sa kasi Secretary ay magkasama. So, ibig sabihin, isa na lang yung bilang yan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then, okay, ilan na ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so, sobrang nga pala. Dapat wala na yung G. Okay, so, magkasama si President and Secretary. Ngayon, class, since uh, i-consider natin, the problem is a circular permutation, no? i-apply natin yon. So, ibig sabihin, ilan na lang? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yung n natin dito ay 7 na lang. And then, apply the formula. 7 minus 1 is 6 factorial and that is 720. Pero, of course, i-consider din natin yung arrangement ng dalawa, ng president at secretary. And the arrangement of that is 2 factorial. And 2 factorial is equal to 2. So, therefore, the number of Uh, ways na magkasama si President and Secretary and na they can sit together that is 6 factorial times 2 factorial the answer is 720 times 2 1,440 ways Thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.